All right, guys, um, welcome back to the Cold Hearted Racing Channel. Today's video, I just wanted to talk with you guys about the um, Street Outlaws Fastest in America. So, of course, Texas and New Orleans just raced. They threw down on the street. That was awesome. Um, of course, I was there. I watched it all in person. And I'm not allowed to say anything until after it airs. So, because it aired yesterday, you know, I'm, I'm allowed to speak my mind on it. But aside from that, I will be racing in next Monday's episode. So, if you guys want to check that out, um, you'll see me on Street Outlaws Fastest in America racing against Chris Rankin and his team from the Northeast. Um, let me give you a little backstory on how I ended up on Team Kentucky. I've had some people ask questions about that, so um, I'll answer it in this video. Um, so, let's start here. Some of you probably know whose car that is. That is Kent Folks, 70 and a half split bumper Camaro. It's called Buster. Um, so at the time that we filmed Fastest in America, I was driving the Buster's race cars for him. And I still will every now and then whenever he asks me to. Um, I love, you know, Kent's an awesome guy. He's, he's, he's one of those kind of people that do anything for you, you know. So, um, um, but besides from that, so Quinn, which is the leader of Kentucky, I've known Quinn for some years now. He's he's a he's a pretty good pretty good guy too. He's a little hot headed, but he's he's a good guy regardless. Um, anyways, so Quinn called Kent. No, uh, actually, actually, we were racing in North Carolina. Yeah, at an arm drop. I'm sorry. And uh, Quinn had walked up to Kent and asked him if we wanted to be on his team um, for the fastest in america which back then we were calling the eight city showdown um before it had its official name and uh so yeah kent said yeah and i was standing next to him of course i was driving his car in this race in uh north carolina and he told quinn he said better yet he said i'll let austin drive it i said uh man i'd love to you know i'm not gonna turn down that um especially not you know in a car like that that car's it's fast so i knew i had a good shot and Quinn knew I had a good shot, and that's why he wanted me to be on Team Kentucky. So I can't say too much about what happened. If you guys tune in next Monday, you'll see the whole thing. You'll see every bit of it. Um, how the car performed, I got a little, um, I don't know how you would say it, I guess a little overconfident um, in my car because I knew it was fast. So you'll get to see that too. Um, but all in all, that that was a blast. And everybody's asking like why were you not on team memphis why are you not on team memphis well i'm not, i was not on team memphis because technically i'm not a memphis street outlaw i mean i am but on the tv show you have your your cast um which my dad jj mustang mike trisha all of those um dennis bailey you know everybody so I'm not a Memphis Street Outlaw technically. I'm my dad's son. Yeah, I'm around all the time. But if I wanted to race with him um, in that eight city showdown deal, I would have to be on a different team. So, I mean, they have like 13 or 14 cars. You know, they're not just going to throw another car in on their team when they've had the same people racing for a while now. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong. I'd love to do it. <laughs> and I wish I could. But, um, I just love to race. I don't care when, how, wherever, however, I've been racing since I was a kid. And any opportunity I get to do any kind of drag racing, you better believe I'm going to take that opportunity and run with it. So whenever I got offered the opportunity to drive Kent's car in the eight city showdown, it was a no brainer. You know, I was all for it. And, and you guys will see, like I said, you'll see next Monday night, how that goes. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of people just asking why I wasn't on Team Memphis. How did I end up on Team Kentucky? Well, that's how. It's not really complicated at all. 
Um, it was that simple. Quinn asked Kent if he would bring his car. Kent asked me to drive it, and that was that. So I became a part of Team Kentucky that way. Like I said, I've known Quinn. We've known each other. We've both worked on Kenneth Gooley's truck. We've both helped tune Kenneth Gooley's truck. Um, we both had a good understanding of that street. So we've both tuned cars that have been down that street several times. And um, that was, the, you know, I felt like we were strong in that department. But aside from that, I feel like our weakness was uh, um, lack of, I would say, we had a lot of mechanical issues. So cars were breaking. Uh, one car was new and the suspension was, was, wasn't was perfect on it and it kept trying to stand up. When it didn't stand up, it would hit the tires. Um, that was what really got us more than anything was probably mechanical issues. One guy's transmission had issues, which uh, you guys will see all that in next Monday's episode. So um, I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, this is gonna be a pretty short video explaining, you know, um pretty much how i ended up on team kentucky um but aside from that it was a complete blast um anytime kent wants me to drive his cars you better believe i'm going to do it and um it's going to be a good time too so his cars are fast that car's that car's no joke um and uh now i think he's took it all apart and redoing the whole car so um i think he's putting a 700 inch motor in it which it which it did have a 582 but that 582 was running and we were spraying the piss out of it like uh had two kits a 42 jet a nitrous express fogger was the first kit i believe it's 500 shot and then on a plate we had another 350 or 400 so on a button yeah spraying 900 ish but that's gonna do it for this video today guys i just wanted to give y'all an update of the whole fastest in america deal and um explain a little bit about that so if you guys stay tuned for next monday night's video you'll see me on there yep